it is really snowy and and I was cold and now I'm less cold okay so welcome my name is Matt this is hidden light <sighs> probably a bad hair day and I want to talk to you about bracketing because you're doing it wrong at least if you're shooting film and you're bracketing for exposure, I think you're doing it wrong. We see a lot of people's film. And we see a lot of people bracketing exposure, you know, like meter plus one, minus one. Uh, sure, if you're shooting slide film, maybe. If you're shooting negative film of any kind, I submit humbly that a stopover is always the frame that you're going to use. Like, when do you want the underexposed frame of that bracket? Almost never. Because you have so much latitude if you overexpose it by a stop that everything else is irrelevant. So, save your film. And instead of taking three frames of one subject with one composition, I submit that you might consider bracketing your composition instead. So, just set your camera to like two-thirds of a stop over. You're perfect all the time. If you don't have a meter in your camera that you love, like the F5 and the F6, uh, instead just take your meter reading and expose a stop over that. And instead of doing three shots of the exact same thing, switch it up, right? Like move closer, move further away, change the subject so that it's not dead center in the middle of your frame. If you're bracketing your compositions, you're getting completely new and different, interesting perspectives, different photographs, instead of the same picture that's underexposed that you're never going to use, that's on the meter that's probably just fine, and then that's over the meter, which is also fine. You know what I mean? So this works really well with the challenge that we've got going on for this month, which is sort of an off-center thing. So instead of being the guy that's like, okay, snap, 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 and just like changing your aperture by a stop in between. Do like one of these, and then maybe kind of do one over here, and then maybe like do one of these. I don't know, like mix it up. You know what I mean? You know? I don't know. We, <sighs> we've been working on some projects recently that are, <clears throat> that are lots of contact sheets and lots of people's film, and you can see, you can watch someone bracket for exposure, and the underexposed one, you never want. The on the meter one is usually okay. The over the meter one is always better. But the composition, when you're bracketing these three frames, can be boring. Because you're focused so much on your, your settings that you're not paying attention to what's inside the frame. So bracket your composition, not your exposures. <sighs> I don't know. Or tell me that I'm nuts in the comments down below because that's great too. I'm just, I just, you just, you know what I mean? Anyway, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Have fun bracketing.